Sector 8 station is bound for Sector 7 Undercity. Due to an explosion at Mongo Reactor 1, an emergency Valorant. schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. lives in Sector 8, so... You're, uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Wow. How they call My hands are still shaking. Sword. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. You see, my daughter now lives in Sector 8, so... Ugh, oh, so that right now! the train for sector two man everyone's on edge of course office. they are hey cloud i um uh, really if you're about to unburden yourself we uh, don't hey you don't make it easy wait what the oh, that's weird little help cloud please I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb yeah, I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my Good first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to sure prevent that kind of thing? No, you mentioned sure invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. Uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Them spiking words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Let's 
get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Maka reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history. All that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? Closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! God. Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, ah. Ah. Hmm. Now get some R&R. &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works? Don't keep away from it, you worry. Huh? Uh, uh, so, 
Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Now yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Is your name Cloud? Yep. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. Uh, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? Mm -hmm. Did you have that upstairs? Yeah, he did. I heard it. I can look on our Wi Fi and see all of you were on it. I was. No, I heard it. Upstairs. Uh -huh. Dad. How many times have you been told not to do that, buddy? Okay, I won't do it. If the thing wakes you up, you boys have got to sleep. What time did you get on it? It was seven. Remember the last time I saw a real one? Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? I can do that too. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Emma? Hmm? Uh, I'm uh. in the hallway. Oh, I'm in... Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, 
All right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. <clears throat> About that. We should talk outside. People who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but right, I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even so have to pay rent. Right Sound good? Day. Sure does. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. Um, How was it up on the plate? That was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger. Like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shimmer. Not good at all. So you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. I think they'll attack so Sector 7? It the wasn't that bad? This on it was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. What kind of breakfast do you hipsters want? It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <laughs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. For introductions. <laughs> hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Wow. 
watched her burn to death. I watched her burn to death. Get back inside! Get off me! What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Good way to be a neighbor is almost killing. 